Shadows versus Mommy Long Legs. Last where we left off, Green Kenobi, Captain Inkwell, Sanitize Past, and Empowered Gaming. And a few soldiers stood around this box with Poppy inside as she had opened her eyes. As she looks around, Oh, y'all are here. Who are y'all? We're from an organization that's here to neutralize any threats. Like monsters like you. I'm not a monster. Listen, if you come with us, we'll make sure to have you a nice cell. You'll have good meals, and if you do everything right, you may even have moving privileges. You'll be able to wander the facility and all that. No, no, you need to stop the others that are here. As Green Kenobi looks in interest, others? Are you referring to that blue guy? His name Huggy Wuggy, I think. Yes, there are more. Mommy on legs. As the guards look at each other, as they start talking, wait, there's more of those things? We've already lost quite a few men to just that one. <sighs> okay. Since you know more about these things than we do, how about this? We refrain from taking you to our facility, but in exchange, we'll offer you freedom and protection from any government or any other society or whatever, and to let you a place to live if you help us and give us information about these other creatures, since you don't seem to be a threat. Why, of course, I can do that. But where's Huggy Wuggy? We think he's been disposed of. He fell down some pipes. Speaking of that, do you think Fred survived? As Green Kenobi just looks at them. It's gonna take more than that just to kill Fred. Trust me. That man can eat an RPG and survive. As the new the newbies and the people that don't get on these missions typed often are just a little creeped out is as he's the, they're thinking, is he really that strong? As Captain Inkwell's just sitting there. Uh, he is one strong person, I will admit that. Now listen here. In Captain Inkwell in Empowered Gaming, I have an assignment assigned for you. What's that? Go back to headquarters. Hel Heldy Melody has an assignment for you. Well, what about y'all? You may need our assistance. No, me and Santa's past, and Fred, who should be in the facility somewhere, will be able to take out Mommy Lawn Legs. Now, Howling Melody found another possible threat that's been roaming around. Y'all must go neutralize and capture it. Once y'all get back to headquarters, a team will be established, and y'all will move right on out. Are you sure? As... Empowered Gaming speaks up. Listen here. You're dealing with monsters here that you don't even know the powers of. You don't know how many there are. This place could be swarming with them. That's true. But this place is a neutral zone. They don't leave the area. So we can explore and contain them in the facility. This one roams around. So we need to neutralize it as quickly as possible. And uh, right now... Since I am the superior to Fred, I have to go find him. And I need you two to do the task because you are the mostly best in actual field combat in open wide areas. We are going in closed doors. Now I know y'all, your instincts are impressive. Your teamwork on the other hand, y'all have a history of rivaling each other. Yes, we do, as they look at each other. So why don't you do this? You complete this assignment, you capture him back, and you come back and help us. How about that? Sure thing. I guess that would work. As he looks at Captain Inkwell. Yeah. Let's go. As he grabs a pad from, from Green Kenobi, as they walk off. Sanitized Pass walks over. Why did you tell them to leave? I wasn't told about any reports of monsters. That's because it just got sent in by me. Hallie Melody just informed me a few minutes ago. It was on a note 
sent into my helmet. I see. What monster are they dealing with? I don't know myself. Howly Melody will give them the report when they get back to headquarters. Now with you. As he gestures to Poppy, lead the way. As she leads the way, as they head towards an office. As they're going through it, as he's going through files, experimentations. You gotta be kidding me. They're doing experimentations. They're mutating people. Changing them to monsters. Ah. <sighs> If the creator of this process is still alive, you have the orders to kill. But I have a feeling he's long dead since this place has been abandoned for years. You might be right on that. Now this way, as she keeps leading them, as they start going through places, through over towards the place where Poppy gets kidnapped, we go to Fred, who survived the fall. As he gets up and stretches, uh, yeah, as he just basically just sh shoves off the the dust on him. Ah, uh, I gotta admit, that was a pretty nice fall. As he looks down, as his foot is stepping on uh, Huggy Woggy's head. Now are you alive? As then he hears faint breathing from Huggy Woggy. So you are alive. How to contain you? He starts looking around. As he sees chains. Ha ha! As then he ties up Huggy Wuggy. And does some other things. There, that should make sure you don't escape until backup arrives to pick you up. And just to make sure no one tries to free you. He sets a trap that only can be disarmed by him. Because <laughs> he knows how to disarm it, no one else does. As he then walks by. Now that's that's dealt with, now to find out where am I. As he starts walking, he just walks past, and as he walks by, he sees a circular room. With lots of holes in the wall, and he's like, he walks in. As soon as he walks in, the shutters behind him fly straight down as he looks behind hello and this is the game with the mini, mini huggy wuggies as he starts looking around well oh well looks like we have here the mini huggy wuggies have been hungry if you can manage to survive for 10 minutes or so I may let you out until then Good luck surviving, as Mommy Lawn Lakes just walks away from the glass. Ugh. Well, as he reaches down to his pocket and pulls out a pistol, points it behind him and shoots, as it hits one of the huggy wuggies that was trying to pop out of the hole. It looks like I gotta deal with some more monsters. As he reloads his gun, and grabs another one, and he starts firing at the holes left and right. Shooting at all the Huggy Wuggies that are trying to come out. One of them does manage to get out though and jump behind him. Now this is what Fred does. He does a backflip, hitting the Huggy Wuggy in the head. As he pushes it to the ground and then just puts both his barrels of his guns on, the, on its head and just open fires. The other Huggy Wuggies, mini Huggy Wuggies, are really hesitant as they see this. But they all decide to rush him at once. And this is where we go to... Green Kenobi and the rest. As they all arrive at this big hole. Now down here, this is where Mommy Longlegs is. As then, Mommy Longlegs does her usual scene and grabs her. As the guards all open fire. Of course, none of it hits Mommy Longlegs or Poppy as the hand disappears. As they start to look around the hole. Sir, should we jump down it? Doesn't look like we have any other choice. You two with me. We'll go down first. If we're not... We'll have at least five of us go down there with me. Y'all two fall, be all fall behind. The rest of you stay up here and wait for backup. 
Yes, sir. As Green Kenobi's the first to jump down. As the rest follow suit. As they jump into and fall through a slide. And go through a slide as they come out. And they walk into the daycare area. What is this place? As they all look around. Looks like a daycare, sir. Yeah, but that's not what concerns me. As then hears a noise. As all of them point their guns in one direction. As they hear Molly Longleg's voice. Well, 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 if we don't have visitors. Quite a lot. May maybe I should send you to Bunzo. Or to PJ Pugapillar. But I have a better idea. Why don't you go down to, to him, to them first? As the main Huggy Wuggy store opens. As they all walk towards it. <laughs> what can we do, sir? We've no idea where this creature is, and there's no other way out. We gotta go in this direction. As everyone else, Santa's past, and then follow. As they reach the shutters that are just shut to the Huggy Wuggy's door room. As it opens, we see a pile of mini Huggy Wuggies, and we see Fred on the top of them. As he's just cleaning a knife. <laughs> Seriously, I would expect little creatures like you to put more of a fight. Honestly, your bigger version over there, Huggy Wuggy, was more of a challenge than y'all were. As the newcomers of the group, the rookies, their jaws literally drop, seeing the amount of dead corpses of mini Huggy Wuggies. As Mommy Longleg also sees this, as she's like, How did you defeat them? But this was child's play. I simply had a few grenades, uh, pistols, my trusty knife. Oh, and I can't forget to drop kicking a few of them. Also, again, Green Kenobi, thank you for the, uh, the thickness of the suit you gave me before coming to this mission. I was testing it out, and the quality is very good. It also managed to withstand bites from these little mini Huggy Wuggies. It's made of very some really interesting material as well. As Green Kenobi literally just face bombs. I should have known you would have done something like this. Also, you don't have to worry about, uh... What, uh, Bunzo, whatever his name was? As my long legs is shock. I saw him wandering around. So I, uh, decided to fill him with holes. That, and he also fell into a trap. As my long legs is just shocked. How did Bunzo fall into a trap? Oh, simple. He tried to go free Huggy Wuggy. So he got riddled with bullets with the amounted gun I set up. And also then got crushed by, uh, ten barrels... Or was it 12? I forgot. As my long legs is shocked. As then, uh, the group just open fires at the window where Mommy Long Legs is at. As my long legs quickly gets away. After her men. As all the guards attempt to follow. Chasing after Mommy Long Legs by climbing up in the air area she was. But of course she used the vents and the elation and all that to escape. So they go all back to the middle. As of course the uh P J J Pugapillar's room opens. As they go down, as my long legs explains the the rules of the move, don't move in the in the lights on move when they're off, or don't move when the lights are off and move the lights are on. It's been a while since I've played the game. <sighs> well, anyway, this is what Fred does as soon as he sees PJ Pugapilla come over a rock. You got that uh, grenade la launching machine gun on you. I kind of lost mine in the fall. As one of the guards gladly gives it to him, as he just fires it, as PJ Pugapilla is sent back a little, Okay, everyone open fire. As they start opening fire on them. As Molly Longlegs is just mad at this point, and decides to grab one of them and pulls them away. 
as then they start firing at Molly Lawn Lakes. PJ Pugpillar then comes out of nowhere, biting the top half of a shoulder of a soldier, and circles around them, separating them. Keep firing at the thing! As they start firing, as Green Kenobi was separated with Santai's past and a few men, while Fred and the rest of the soldiers were separated on the other side. Of course, PJ Pugpillar is focusing on the one more soldiers, which is being Fred and his group. Green Kenobi tries to get out. Hey! We'll help you out. No. Go find Mommy and Lawn Legs. We can handle it. As another man dies, as, as we hear screams, as he's being dragged away by PJ Pugpillar. Don't just stand there. Keep opening fire on the thing. Yes, sir. As they get into a firing line, keep firing on PJ Pugpillar. Bullets aren't really working on it, sir. Not working, eh? Then, pull out your knives. What are you doing, sir? Simple. If bullets are not going to affect it, we're just going to have to stab it. But, sir, that will only amount to more casualties. It's either this, being eaten, soldier. Which one would you prefer? As the men just pull out their daggers. Now come on, beast. We'll take you out. As it comes from the ceiling, trying to go directly for Fred. As he quickly rolls and grabbing one of the guards, as it was going to swallow him as well. As he throws the dagger at it, piercing its body. See, it's not immune to, to the daggers. It's immune to bullets, but it's not immune to physical attacks. Now, hurry up and stab the thing. As it quickly moves. As one of the soldiers manages to stab its tail, but when it, when he stabs it, PJ Pugapillar swings its tail, sending the soldier flying hard, hitting a wall. Sir, man down! As the man's unconscious, he noticed PJ Pugapillar is going towards him. Hand me that knife. As he grabs a knife from a subordinate and throws it, hitting PJ Pugapillar in the neck. As it switches off course from killing the two guards. The one unconscious and the one checking up on him. How many knives do we got left? Five, sir? Alright, everyone. Into the tunnel. But, sir, won't you have a better chance of killing us? Do as I say. Y yes, sir, as the, the man hesitantly says as they go in the tunnel. What is he thinking? As they all just sit in the tunnel. As we see Fred outside with two knives. Come on. As he's staying out there in the open. Waiting for him to make a move. Now, now. As soon as P PJ Pugpillar gets to make a move. A big explosion happens. Hitting PJ Pugpillar and sending him across the room. As we see a heavy armored unit of about five soldiers come in with a grenade launcher. Reinforcements have arrived, sir. We got some injured men in there. Regular bullets won't work on the thing. Use some high caliber bullets. That may be able to pierce its thick skin. Yes, sir. As PJ Pugpillar gets back up, as he prepares with his two knives and rushes at the thing. As we see him jump at it, as it's going towards him, and we skip and head towards Green Kenobi and his men that are scrolling through the area. Santa's Pass, was it wise to leave them by themselves? No, but Fred should be able to take care of the others. As then we get communication over the radio. Sir? Huggy Wuggy has been secured. He's being lifted out. Good. He's unconscious, right? We did endose some neurotoxins to, t to make him go asleep, yes. Good. Give me a report when he'll get to the facility. Well, he's being loaded into a car right now. Alright. The estimated time of his return back to headquarters. Uh, maybe an hour. He is having a helicopter air, air, air him out. Good. After all, also take the longest route back to headquarters. If this thing escapes, I don't want it to be over any cities. 
Roger that. As as soon as he clicks off, one of the men screams as he gets pulled up. As two of the men start when firing, as Mommy Longlegs was using the train above her. She's using the train around her to her advantage. As then another one screams out as he gets dragged. Ah! As a lot of the soldiers are in a panic, as there's several with them. Sir, what should we do? She's picking us off one by one. Switch to thermal. That's the only way we're going to see the thing. As the room just started filling with gas. As they switch to thermal, and are looking around. One of them gets dragged by the foot and starts screaming. One of his buddies notices it, and immediately jumps and stabs Molly Longlegs arm with a knife. Ah! As Molly Longlegs lets go and hits the man hanging towards a crate. Ah! As he leans down unconscious, the man that he saved checks on him. As Molly Longlegs then attempts to attack them, but Green Kenobi sees this and fires at her hand. Regroup here! Y'all can see me, regroup with me! Santa eyes passed and a few other soldiers that were still alive, regrouped with the downed soldier and with Green Kenobi. Listen, she's above us. As we hear a scream as one of the other soldiers that hadn't regrouped get taken away. As then the a body just suddenly falls on top of one of the soldiers. As his corpse is all mangled up, as he backs away. <gasps> as one of the soldiers just scream and runs away. Don't do that, you idiot! As Antley he gets screamed as he's taken away. <sighs> Listen, we have to stick together. She's picking us off one by one. <sighs> Green Kenobi, what should we do? The smoke is interfering with thermal. She's smart, I'll give her that. She led us to a room, knowing very well our equipment wouldn't do jack. And the terrain is so confusing. She truly knows the place like the back of her hand. This is going to be a problem. How many of us are left? With the down man and you and me. Six others. Not many. We came over here of twelve, right? Yes, sir. As he hits the crate, where's those reinforcements? Can we, can we get communication over with the rest of the teams? No, sir. We've only had luck gaining communication with the team that managed to retrieve Huggy Wuggy. <sighs> She's, everyone in this crate. As everyone goes in the, one of the crates to avoid my long legs as they sit down, Screen Kenobi sets down his gun. She's picking us off. As we hear voices outside, as more screams are heard. What was that? I think the reinforcement team just got here, and is being picked off by Mommy Longlegs. As Green Kenobi opens the crate, and just sees a few more of his soldiers' bodies on the ground. As he noticed two of them just lean hay in the direction. As he quickly grabs his gun and shoots at Mommy Longlegs, who's going to grab one. No! You two, get over here now! As they run over, as Mommy Longlegs attempts to just grab them. A brave soldier came out of nowhere and grabbed Molly Longlegs' hands that were trying to grab the two soldiers. Not today! As then he gets end up being pulled up. And later we just see him get tossed. And we just get the a very loud scream as he hits, hits a crate with his back and then falls to the ground, lifeless. As the two soldiers manage to get to the crate. <sighs> you two alright? Yeah. As they look around and see the few men inside. Why are y'all not going out there and helping us? Listen, we have no communication. She's using the terrain to her advantage. We're hiding in here for now. She can't lift up this thing, luckily. It's bolted to the ground. I made sure to look at it before hanging in. How many men came with you? Uh, we had at least a dozen. So twelve? Plus the extra men that were coming in from the facility. What about a report on Fred's group? Uh, uh, we, uh, extra team diverted from us and went over to help them. 
I believe it was a heavy unit uh, went over to help. A heavy unit, you say? Yes, sir. We're just lucky to be alive right now. That thing's way smarter than Huggy Wuggy. Knowing its speech, it's pulling us off one by one. I've got an idea. It's gonna be risky. But who's up for it? Y'all that don't wish to get caught in the death in this impossibility of dying, you can stay here. As Santa's passed and a few soldiers stand up. We're willing to go through with it, sir. Everyone, equip flash grenades. Why, sir? You'll understand. If you get picked up, release the flash grenade. I don't care if you take damage yourself. That's the only way we're going to be able to actually defeat her. We need to blind her. Of course, sir. As one of the men finally understands, I see. When she's blinded, we can focus and target her down. And track her with the thermal. Correctly, because the big flash will reveal a... And separate the fog away from her. That way, revealing a huge area density. Exactly. Now. As then all of them just spread out and go in different directions. As Molly Longlegs just watch this... Ah, spleen up. Not a very smart move. As then, we, uh, she goes to grab one of them and pulls them up. And right before she throws the person in her hand, and it looks to be Santa's past, Hey, Mommy Longlegs! As she looks at it, at, looks at Santa's past, What? As then she sees the flash gr grenade in her arm, Oh, as the flash grenade stuns her. Dropping Santa's past. One of the guards quickly goes and catches her before she can hit the floor. Or catches Santa's past. As then a grenade shot is heard as Molly Longlegs falls to the ground. Now! As the men that all separated go over and converge and hold her down. As they all hold her down. Who is the one to throw that grenade? As we see... Fred on a crate. Hello. I have returned. Yes. Wait. You already dealt with PJ Pugapillar. Yes, I did. In fact, he's over there. As they look over as PJ Pugapillar is currently being dragged by the remaining surviving of his team. As a lot of blade marks are seen on him. Scratches and all that. <sighs> Listen. At, while they're talking, my long legs takes his advantage and tosses the guards off her as she runs away. Stop her! As the men in the crate then come out and start opening fire, and she takes several injuries but manages to evade and get into cover and just wanders away. Darn it! She got away. She's still here, sir. Okay, take the wounded to get treated. Find the survivors that managed to survive to being thrown by Mommy Longlegs. We take care of our wounds before we chase her. After all, she can't use this area anymore. Luckily. Huggy Wuggy has been retrieved. What about that thing? Oh, well, uh, I can tell you it is unconscious. His name's PJ Pugapillar, I learned. I found a file in a room nearby. Yeah, he may be bullet resistant. He's not blade or explosive resistant, though. Hence, uh, a simple few knife cuts and all that. And a fatal grenade, uh, a grenade to the face. It really did the job. Well, it's good to see you're alive, friend. Of course. You think the great and mighty Fred's going to be defeated that easily? Uh, we're, sorry, are we talking to the Fred that... Can literally tank an RPG, or are we talking to the guy that has taken on Music Man single handedly with a knife? That. That, Fred. Ah, yeah. 
I admit, you are probably the most scariest soldier on this team. And that's saying something, since we got some lunatics in this force. Lunatics? Who are you talking? When I mean lunatics, I mean you. Just you. Because how insanely you fight. It's like a bunch of lunatics going after one person. Okay, I can see that. Well, anyway, are we going to take on Mommy Long Legs or what? Well, we're currently just gathering the remaining survivors from this attack. She lured us into this place, knowing very well that we were unprepared. Yeah, I can tell. But we should be able to find her now. As then, everyone gathers together. Alright, the wounded stay here. We'll have a few men stay here. The rest of you with me. We're going to capture Mommy Lawn Legs. As they all nod. As there's about 20 of them. Including Santai's Past, Green Kenobi, and Fred. As they all head into the direction my lawn, Mommy Lawn Legs fled to. As they walk, they walk to a casino type area. What is this place? I don't know. It looks like another part of Poppy Playtime. Well, let's find out what's here. As they start looking in the area, but they can't find my lawn legs in this big open space. Alright, split up a little bit. Don't divert too far from each other. We need to capture her. As they start looking around, going through equipment. As then, Green Kenobi is currently going through the files he found in the front desk. Hmm. Mommy lawn legs. They used to contain the creatures with gas. No, some security personnel may still be within the facility. You gotta be kidding me. As he throws the papers down, this is an entire group here. As he gets mad, as a soldier's regroup, what do you mean? This group is still functioning. They're still working on monsters. They've just lost control of the ones up here, I'm pretty sure. But, they may not have the numbers. So, if it is a group, we should be able to take them out with our forces. As then Molly Long Link just watches this. As Fred notices Molly Long Legs, but acts like he doesn't. As he reaches for an item, as Molly Long Legs just listening and waiting to strike. As then Fred starts to hum. <laughs> <laughs> As then he pulls out the literal rocket launcher he had asked to bring along and fires it up at the ceiling, causing the ceiling to break. Mommy Longlegs falls onto the big statue of Huggy Wuggy, hitting the ground. Now, he says, as a lot of the men just start pulling out tasers and start to fire at her. As she then vulses violently, her limbs going everywhere. Before she falls unconscious due to the high voltage of electricity. As Green Kenobi looks over there. How did you know she was on the ceiling? Um. Trust me. Once you've seen a lot of crazy stuff. Like I have. You know about everyone's location. And I know when I'm being watched. Literally every time. You don't see those security footage back at headquarters. Those hidden cameras always catching me and me looking directly into them. Fair point. I forget you do that. Well, anyway. She's unconscious, correct? Oh, most definitely. Without that much voltage of electricity, anyone would be unconscious. Most likely dead, though. You would die to that amount of electricity, but since she's not human, she's probably just knocked out. Probably. All right, tie our hands together. Uh, how are we gonna? As the green Kenobi just looks at him, tie her hands together. Feet, I don't care. 
Do it in a way. Lock her hands up or something. I don't care. We need to contain her. As they respond, yes, sir. Ugh. What other creatures are in this place? As then Poppy comes out of nowhere. There's Catnap. As he gets startled a little bit and looks over. Catnap? Yes. He currently lives in a different area, though. But he's still in the building. Oh, great. Another monster to go contain. <sighs> Give me a report on all the other previous units that came into the building. We've c taken a lot of casualties, it seems. A lot more than expected. As, as I've anticipated, yes. As he pulls out a form, taking a look at the number of casualties. If, it, if we weren't being backed by someone, this company would be wasting too many funds. Anyway, send her off. As we see them moving her on a big giant uh, moving uh, cart to go get airlifted out. Well, anyway, I guess we better move on to this. Mo what? Catnap fellow? Yes. Let's move. As that is the end of Shadows versus My Lawn Legs. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe.